Hello and welcome to Three Dollar TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. Leading virtual digital assets or VDAs are struggling to make large moves as the analysts suggest they have failed in their attempt to break out of the current logjam. The prices are stuck in range amid downward bias due to the duality problem, that is, the altcoin season and liquidity pressure. Further, the concerns of US government default weighs on investor sentiment. Against the backdrop, Bitcoin and Ethereum continue to hover around the $27,000 and $1,800 levels, respectively. Bitcoin is currently trading at $27,392.02, with a 24-hour trading range setting between $26,590.05 and $27,416.89. The flagship cryptocurrency is up roughly 1.5%. Ether is flat at $1,823.86. In the recent past, the crypto price action has been relatively subdued despite volatility coming back a bit due to thin liquidity in the market, analysts have pointed out. The global crypto market cap increased 0.75% to $1.14 trillion over the last 24 hours. The total crypto market volume during the same period has improved 20.76% to $34.42 billion. The total volume in DeFi is currently $2.39 billion or 6.94% of the total crypto market volume. The volume of all stable coins is now $31.56 billion, which is 91.70% of the total crypto market volume. Bitcoin's dominance is currently 46.59%, an increase of 0.11% over the day. IC15 index, the barometer of top 15 tokens, was last quoting at 37,883.02, up 0.74%. Meanwhile, Tether, the issuer of the $82 billion USDT stablecoin, reported $1.48 billion of net profits in 2023 quarter one and revealed $1.5 billion in BTC holdings. The company has decided to buy Bitcoin for stablecoin reserve using profit. Another stablecoin issuer, Circle, has ditched treasury bills that mature beyond May 31st, rotating assets to cash and overnight repurchase agreements instead. The move underlined the fears of US government default. Elsewhere, an Indian crypto exchange and a policy firm have separately asked the government to let crypto firms access the National Unified Payments Interface after it was ostensibly suspended in 2022.